Good morning, dear friends. My name is Olivier Mouto and I'm from IPRS Kigali. So we are in electron pneumatics, whereby I'm going to make a tutorial on how you can control two pneumatic cylinders with the following sequence. A plus A negative, B plus B negative times N. And N stands for any number, just number of cycles that you want. To do this, you will need, of course, pneumatic circuit with proximity sensors for each cylinder and we have the directional control valve having single solenoid and the reset spring and electrically here we will have input side and we will have output side with indicator lamps i start by analyzing what condition should be done for us to have a plus it's easy for a plus you just need one m1 and two m1 so that you can have the first A plus. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pick here proximity sensor here as one M1, and I pick another one as two M1. Then I link the two here, and I will need a coil, and this coil will be Sierra one. And the one which will control the solenoid one. So I modify the name and then put CR1. Okay and okay. So I will need a hold on or a safe holding for the CR1. And then I'm gonna call it CR1. And let me call this 1M1. And the other one it is. 2m1 so the two works in a series it's a condition like and condition so this sierra one is the one which is going to control the solenoid one on this side for the output so it's a sierra one and we simulate to see whether we have a plus we start that's a plus it's done with a plus so what we want it's a negative so in order to have a negative, we're just going to break here. We are going to break here. And you see here, this is information to break there. One M2, since the piston is here, so one M2 is going to be used to break here. And uh, we're going to use another line. I take another Sierra, and I'm going to call it Sierra 2. And it is the one which is going to break. Sierra 2 would need information from... 1m2 and i'm gonna call it 1m2 here then i link the two and it will need a self-holding and i'm gonna call it sierra 2 then the sierra 2 will be connected here and the normal clause for Sierra 2 is the one which is going to break here. So I put a normal clause contact for Sierra 2 so that it's going to break Sierra 2 here. Okay, okay, we close. And let's see whether we have a negative. We start A plus and A negative. So it's time to think the condition on B plus. So in order to have B plus, we're going to analyze the same way we did here, but this time it is going to be one M1 and an open contact for CR2. This time it is not a nut proximity sensor, but it is an open contact for CR2. As you can see here, it is already closed, which means it will be closed even if the two will be in a series. So we do it quickly. Again, we will need the two here. We will need an open contact, okay, and this is 1M1, 1M1, and this is Sierra 2, and this is a coil, and this time is Sierra 3. So Sierra 3, we link the two, and uh, we will need a self-holding okay the self-holding 
and we call it Sierra 3. Okay, okay. This Sierra 3 is the one which is going to control the solenoid 2 here so that we can have B. Plus. And there we go with the control A, plus, A negative, B. Plus. Okay, so you see we have now B. Plus. So now we need B negative. To achieve this, this is a condition which is going to help us to have B negative. As the cylinder is here on the proximity sensor 2M2, so we're going to use this information to break this line just the same way we did here. Okay, so we stop this. We will need another coil, and this coil is going to be CR4. To modify, and we change up from 3 to 4. And uh, we will use this information for 2M2, and it is an open, an open contact proximity sensor to, to break that one. And um, we connect there. We will call this guy 2M2, and the CR4 will need a self holding. And we call it CR4. Then this CR4 is going to break here. So we use a normally closed contact for CR4 to break this line. There we go. That CR4. So let's see whether we have B negative. We start A plus, A negative, B plus, B negative. You see, one cycle is done. So if you want several cycles, you just need to break this circuit here. You know, we have current flowing through this circuit. So we need to break the circuit at the same time. So we are going to break from here. And the information which is going to break this information, it's 2M2 normal clause. We put this normal clause here. And we call it 2M2. Okay. So now let's see whether we are done. A plus A negative. B plus B negative. A plus once again. A negative. B plus B negative. You see now we have several cycles. So if you want to limit, you want to count up to five. As it has been asked from my YouTube channel in the comment section. So it's time to think about a counter. So a counter is going to be counting the passes from 2M2. Then it breaks the system. There we go. We go in the electrical system. Just pick count. You can take up counter or down counter. So I just pick this down counter. And the maximum value that I want to set. Let me set 2 by default. And I'm going to, uh, to display this information. I want to display it as counter down. Okay. Just like this. Okay. It's counter down. And I will need a coil. This coil is going to be CR5. Uh, CR5. And the CR5 is going to be the to be examining the output from, from this counter. So a counter will be counting the information from 2M2 here. I'm going to push just a little bit here. Just like this. Okay. And this information is going to be taken from here. Then the counter will need a reset. So I can peel this guy here up to here. And I'm gonna call it reset. I'm gonna call it reset. Okay. Okay. Then I'll use this information to reset the counter. Then the output for CR5 
this is going to be breaking here or here it depends or both why not so we're going to break this line here and then we call it zero five if you want you can even break the same time here zero five there's no problem and uh, we'll now to count to see what we have let's see one and two so it has to stop you see up to two it stops which means our counter is counting up to two then if you want to start once again you have to press on the press otherwise if you press start there is nothing will, be, will happen because we have the output unless you reset it okay so let's change from two up to four we put four and then uh, we are going to make sure that at two we stop so that we can continue that first cycle two let me stop from here to see what comes out i stop from here you know the counter is still memorizing that in four it has completed only two cycles so when we start once again the counter will allow the system to continue the remaining two cycles you know this is the third one and this is the fourth one and then we have to stop yeah. see it breaks the circuit so if now you start again nothing will happen because the four required was completed so we have now to reset the counter so if you want to, to prevent to be resetting several times you can take another contact you put it here then you link it with CR5 so that when the system completed the required number of cycles it resets itself otherwise when you stop in, in the middle like in, at two cycles you will have to reset manually but when it has completed the system you will it will be resetting automatically then we will connect this contact here to CR5 so that it can indicate that the system has completed the required cycles that's CR5 and here this is well what are learning of course and the CR5 will be closing the contact for flashing coil and flashing coil will be closing here for indicator lamps for flashing after completing the required number of cycles this indicator lamp will show that we are done let's start with um, i want to change up to three okay all right we simulate once again you see here we are we have in the standby mode this lamp is going is blowing strong that we are in standby mode if we start the cycle just to complete three cycles this is the first ending the second one and the last one is going to start a plus a minus b plus b minus you see the pilot lamps turns on so uh, let me change the system to five as it has been requested from this comment section that's five again we go a plus a minus b plus b minus a plus a minus b plus b minus and this will continue up to five and then after five it will have to stop and the pilot lamp showing that it has been completed will turn on for further videos please subscribe share and like for what you are watching hope to see you soon goodbye